Hi guys, this tutorial is going to show you how you are able to use your iPad and answer assignments in Google Slides. There are two different ways you can do this. You may use your finger as a pencil and write onto the assignment, or you may open it up as a Google Slide, which is the way it was originally created, and then you'll be able to type into your document. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is find an assignment that I know has been turned in as a Google Slide or was created as Google Slides. The first three attachments up at the top are the assignments or part of the assignments that I am supposed to watch, read, or think about. Down at the bottom, there is an up arrow. I'm going to click up. It's going to take me to the assignment portion where I am assigned to complete by answering and then turn in. I will click my name. Up in the top three top right hand corner there are three icons. The first icon with the page and the magnifying glass will allow me to search somewhere on that assignment for a certain word. I don't need to do that. The next assignment is going to be a pencil. If I click the pencil I will be able to write on this document with using my finger as a pencil. The third icon is a box with an arrow and it is going to show me how to, it will take the assignment into the original format and in this case it was Google Slides and I will be able to write or I will be able to answer my questions using font or using type. First let's use our pencil. If I click the pencil it's going to turn my assignment into a PDF file and I'll be able to use my finger as a pencil. At the bottom there are several icons. The, this icon is an eraser. The next icon is a pen. This is a marker. This is a highlighter and this last one is a text box. For this case, I'm going to use the pen and I'm going to go up to my first question and answer it. Remember, I've already read the article. What are three things that you wondered about as you read the question? I wondered, and I'm gonna finish my thought. My next question that I would wonder, I would write that. Down here, what is one question you have after reading the ninth and 10th sections? then I'm going to write my answer. Let's say I've gone all the way through, I've completed my work. Up at the top right hand corner, there are three icons. The first one is a back arrow. It will take away whatever last steps I have done. The arrow beside it is the redo arrow. Then there is a save button. I save it and it's going to automatically save and attach my completed work to my assignment so I can turn it into my teacher. I click X. And I can see that the PDF says edited, my name, and then it has the assignment. I can turn it in if I am ready. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to use your typing into your document so you are able to type. I'm going to click the box with the arrow. The box with the arrow is going to take it to the original format. And in this case, it was saved as a Google slide. Here in Google Slides, I'm going to be able to type. My answer will be nice and neatly written. I'm going to click beside type here, wherever the first type here box is. That is going to be it. That tells me it is a um, text box, and that's where I will answer my question. The first one, I'm going to tap right beside it, and I can double tap it to get where I can go back in and um, backspace delete and then get ready to type. I can change my font color. I wondered about, okay, click the keyboard button down. It will take it away. I will go to the next spot I have to type. Double tap if I need to. Whoops, I just moved it. I can move it right back to where it was. I can zoom in Double tap, backspace, change my font color. If I type, tap out of it, I double tap and it'll take me right back to it. I wondered about. Now one next thing I want to show you is how I can move my use my mouse as a cursor to move it to wherever I need it to be. I'm going to double tap here. Notice though that I'm at the beginning of type here. I don't want to necessarily type in front of type here. I want to be able to delete that and then type. Press and hold space bar down, slide it over. I'm now at the very end. Backspace, 
change the font color if you want. I wondered if keyboard down. Let's say I'm finished with my work. I've completed every question on my assignment. I'm going to click the check button up beside my name. I do not have to save the name of my assignment or change the name of my assignment. When I click check, it's going to save it automatically. In the top left hand corner, it says classroom with a back arrow. If I click that, it's going to take me right back to the classroom app. Click it. It does not appear to have saved, but if I click X, this is just going to close the assignment. I see my assignment. I'm going to double tap it. And I see where I have done my typing. Click X. I can turn in the assignment. If I decide that I have turned it in and then I want to go back and edit, I am able to edit it. I simply would unsubmit. And then I'm able to open my assignment. I hope that helped you understand how you are able to complete your work using uh, Google Slides to answer your questions, either using your finger as a pencil or using the uh, text boxes to type in your answers.